What's going on guys and welcome to the video. I'm going to talk about the importance of tempo or threshold, lactate threshold training and how it can help you become a faster runner. So let's dive into it. So let's talk about lactate threshold, also known as tempo workouts. They're interchangeable. Just finished up my workout. Overall, during the volume of that workout, I held about a 650 minute per mile pace. That was with my easy miles and with my threshold miles. Now, the intent of lactate threshold is to improve your efficiency to get faster. The thing, the caveat to that is, there's no benefit to lactate threshold or tempo workouts if you're not really maximizing your easy aerobic base building. So take advantage of your easy miles. Below your max aerobic heart rate, you need to build that volume. Building volume alone will make you faster. You'll become more efficient at, at running. But to kind of add on to, once you've already established and built an aerobic base, you can start adding in things like track workouts or tempo workouts. Typically, I, I like to say it is something that is comfortably hard and it is a pace, a little bit faster than your race pace, that for me that I can hold for about 30 minutes steady. It's not like running out fast and then dying off and then pulling back and running fast and pulling back. A steady pace that you can hold consistent pace for 30 minutes and that is how you kind of can gauge your threshold or, or, or tempo running. There are tests you can do you can do a, a blood lactate test to establish that. There's formulas to establish that. I like using perceived effort and kind of that 30 minute time frame as I'm running and what it feels like. One gauge that I can feel if I'm running too hard is I can feel all the lactic acid building up in my legs and a lot of fatigue, so I'll pull back a little bit. Now the body uses oxygen for for endurance training. As you start going a little bit faster, you start putting a, a higher effort out there's less oxygen available. Your body is not as efficient as using that oxygen. So it starts producing more lactate. And as you start producing more lactate, your body can use that as an energy source. But what happens when you start pushing efforts too hard or paces too fast past your, your lactate threshold, blood lactate increases higher and faster than you can actually utilize it. So all this lactic acid starts building up, you can feel it in your legs, it creates extreme fatigue, tired, and you have to stop. So the goal with lactate threshold training is it's training a system. Just like you're training an aerobic system when you're running below your max aerobic heart rate on these really easy runs, lactate threshold or tempo workouts are building the system. You're becoming more efficient in a, a zone that is using lactate in a place of, of oxygen and you stay in that zone more and more and more and you become more efficient at utilizing those systems. So that's the goal with these workouts. And I saw a big benefit in my last marathon block of incorporating tempo workouts and lactate threshold. It's not going too hard, it's not going too easy. You gotta, you gotta gauge that sweet spot, but once you find that sweet spot, oh, it is powerful. So run your easy miles, do your aerobic base building, add on some tempo and threshold work and you are on your way to getting faster.